So episode two is here as promised, and there are quite a few things to go over. Uh, you know, we've got hashtag add player to go over. We've got a couple of things that we need to go over as far as our roster is concerned, which I had you guys vote on. Also, all of the images are uploaded. All the uniforms are good to go. But real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know, for those of you that are wondering, the Madden series is alive and well. All I've been waiting on is for them to update the whole draft class glitch thing, and that update should be coming any time now. I was expecting it to be here this week. Uh, I was actually expecting it to be here at the very latest today, and as of right now, I think it's like 1 in the afternoon on Friday, and there's they, we, I haven't had anything, so, but it's still, that's coming. Episode 3 coming very soon for that. Real quick though, before we get too deep into the episode, I did want to go through and read off the hashtag ad players that I have so far, just in case I missed any. If I did miss any, please let me know in the comments, uh, but I do think I have all of them so far. I've taken the screenshots for you guys. I do read every comment. I make sure to heart every comment because really have no reason not to. Everything you guys say is either great advice or just, uh, you know, great feedback uh, in general or, or just you guys loving this series. So, you know, I do read every single comment and I, I love every single one of them, like genuinely. But this is what I have so far for the hashtag ed players, all the screenshots that I have taken. So far, I've got Zay Carter uh, and Zay, uh, we, we kind of, uh, you know, we worked on the, the name together on that one. We've got Zay Carter. I've got Nick Baker. I've got Brian Blackburn. I have Rodrigo Flores. I've got Sky Newman. I've got Nick Raposo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. AJ McNeil. Uh, I've got Aiden McCauley. And I've got Jet Simpson. Both will be there. I've got Jacob Towns Jr. I've got uh, Will Gray. And uh, I think that's all I have so far. If I did miss somebody's comment, or I, or I didn't screenshot it, or I didn't save you know, into this album that I have on my phone here, uh, please let me know in the comments because I want to get all you guys in and I want you guys to be able to see this. I want you guys to be involved. But anyway, I did a couple of polls and uh, you guys gave me your feedback. You guys gave me your advice. First thing that we are going to do here is we are going to give Jalen Duran back to the, uh, the Detroit Pistons. And uh, like I said, after I recorded the episode, after I edited the episode, I wanted to get it out for you guys. I didn't want to go back and change everything because, like, I everything I did was on the fly. Like, I made all the decisions. You guys see everything in real time. But after I thought about it a little bit, I was like, you know what? I, you know, despite the fact that they've got Wiseman, they've got Isaiah Stewart, they've got Bagley, just despite all that, I, I really don't know why they didn't protect him. So, we're going to give him back. And some of the uh, suggestions were to maybe take, like, one of the big men that they have here. Uh, but as you can see, after us... You know, after we took Durant, Durant from them, they don't have anybody besides Wiseman at the center. I mean, of course, Marvin Bagley and Isaiah Stewart can both play it. Um, but, you know, like, I just, I don't know why exactly they didn't protect Jalen Durant. But you know what? We are going to penalize them a little bit. Bro, you guys are going to give me something. I'm not going to ask for one of you guys' good players, but you're going to give me a second round pick. I'm sorry, but you're going to do it. You have no choice. Uh, it includes players that are, yeah, I know, Tristan Thompson's mentored him, but he's got to go back, and they agree, of course. But just to double check, I just want to make sure that they give him his actual, yeah, okay, he is number zero. I like, I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I always make sure to, uh, to, to, to pay close attention to that type of stuff. I like everything to be realistic down to the last detail. Now, also, I'm sure as many of you guys may have seen in the community post that I made, we also did the trade that the Milwaukee Bucks made for Dame Lillard. I got it as close to exact as I could. The only thing that I couldn't add in there were those draft picks, like those, it was like the pick swaps from 2029 and 2030 or whatever, because it doesn't go that far yet. But enough talk about the other teams. We are actually gonna go in and make a trade of our own. Like I said, I already put this into the trade finder and uh, you know, they, they the, the Toronto Raptors, actually are good with this trade and it, it makes sense it, this one this one does make sense and i thought about this a lot trust me i thought about it a lot because the guy that we're gonna go after is buried on this depth chart and i will prove it to you right now if you guys saw the community post and you guys voted thank you for voting it was kind of uh it was definitely one-sided towards doing the trade versus not doing the trade and like i said i'm a huge kansas jayhawks fan so uh you know grady dick okay Listen, this dude's buried on this depth chart. He can play the, the two and the three. Uh, I don't know if he can play the four. He, I don't know if that's really his game. He's behind Ananobi and Gary Trent. 
uh, Scotty Barnes and Jalen McDaniels and Otto Porter were on this roster. You know, I know that they want to develop him and all that. However, you know, they are willing to do a trade and I'm willing to do it as well because and it's not that unrealistic when you really look at it. We're giving up quite a bit to get a guy that I really like on the team and a guy that I want to build around moving forward next to Jaden Hardy since we don't have Duran anymore. Okay, so this is a little bit different. They weren't actually, in the trade finder, they weren't offering me Chris Boucher the first time I did this. And the slider is still at 60. I didn't change the slider or anything like that. Uh, but they were not offering Chris Boucher. So I'm going to take him out of the trade because this was what it, they actually, oh, that's, yeah, they were offering a 2027 second is what they originally were offering and Grady Dick. Hopefully they do it because I know the trade finder is kind of weird sometimes if you don't, take the trade finder trade uh you know and and you propose something different even if it's better sometimes they won't accept it uh but they do agree to that trade offer anyway so there it is boys we've got him on the team and like i said i don't know if a lot of you guys know this uh i probably have mentioned it before but it was probably in an older video i have been a kansas jayhawks fan since as as far back as i can remember and uh now we we have another roster spot and uh we don't have a, I mean, well, we technically we do have a backup center. It's Tristan Thompson, uh, but Daniel Gafford is going to be our starting center at this point. And Tristan Thompson at 32, clearly not the long-term answer. Uh, J uh, Jamichael Green, we've got Biz uh, Bismack Biombo, Willie Hernan Gomez. He's a hell of a rebounder. In fact, a couple of these guys are very, very good rebounders. So wait a second, Dayron Sharp is here. Why is he in free agency? He's sitting here in free agency for whatever reason and he is a fantastic rebounder you know what give me dayron sharp whatever it you know i don't even care at this point just give me uh 12.7 million though is that is that really what you want let's see if 9.8 will get it done and he accepted okay great maybe brooklyn had to cut somebody and they cut him but we do have another center here and uh he might even get some playing time who knows i mean like that that number has to go 53 Sorry, bro. You're not wearing 53. Let's take a quick look at the lineups now that we've actually, uh, you know, made these moves. All right. So as you can see, oh, they did it for me. There we go. I was going to put Neesmith as our starting three. A lot of you guys were calling for that. So this is how we're going to run the lineup now after the changes that we have made. We are going to have Dinwiddie at the one, Jaden Hardy starting at the two, Aaron Neesmith at the three. Uh, you know, you can see the minutes there. Dinwiddie with 31. Hardy and Neesmith and Jalen Johnson all with 27. Gafford at 28, and he will be the starting center. Jalen Johnson, obviously, the starting four. Then we got Gary Payton. He will be our sixth man for now, but again, like, this is our first year, man. We're an expansion team. A lot of things are going to change moving forward, you know, in the coming seasons, uh, and maybe even, you know, before, before the next season. Maybe we make a move at the deadline. Who knows? But uh, as of right now, this is, where we're, this is where we're at. Then you got Josh Christopher coming off the bench, getting 20 minutes per night. Tory Craig getting 20 minutes per night. Grady Dick at 18 minutes. And then, of course, Dayron Sharp. He, uh, I bumped him up. He's getting 18 minutes a night as well. So that is our 10-man rotation as it sits right now. And like I said, we got a lot of our young guys. We got a few of our veterans in there. Well, my boys, it is time. Like, there's no more waiting at this point. We are going to be playing our inaugural game like our first game as a franchise our first regular season game we will be going up against the pistons one more thing real quick before we jump into this game so somebody had made a comment and i was already kind of thinking this in my mind but when the league does expand it is probably going to be two teams and so what we're going to do is even though this year we only put one team in next year there is going to be another team and as you can see it is going to be the Seattle Supersonics. The court keeps on reverting to this weird blue apron or whatever and all that, but I'm going to fix all that. I've, I've actually already fixed it, but it won't save until we get into the next season. So we have to wait for that. Whoever started to create these, I do want to give a shout out to whoever started this. I did edit them uh, to make them look the way I wanted them to look. So, uh, you know, they're a little different, but somebody did make this design and whoever it was, man, big shout out to you if you're watching. We are going to live stream their expansion draft and we're going to control them. I'm going to let you guys decide who they should draft because we, I, we don't want them drafting any of like those big name players that are on huge contracts that, that, you know, that some of these teams aren't protecting for whatever reason. I'm going to let you guys decide live on a stream 
who they're going to draft. We're going to control them. And then we're going to give up control, you know, to the CPU after that. If we do come out with a dub, great. You know what I mean? That'll be a, that would be a wonderful way to start off the franchise. However, I just want to prepare you guys for how horrible this might look. Uh, but either way, no matter how bad it may look, let us jump right into this. And uh, as you can see, we're going to be wearing the home uniforms. Uh, I do have a statement uniform, and honestly, I, oh man, I, I kind of want to show it to you guys right now. Or, or should I? Should I? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to show it, and if I, you know, if, if you guys don't see it, that means I edited it out. But uh, I'm, I'm going to show it real quick. So obviously, like, this is our away uniform. But I hope you guys like it. This is the statement uniform. You can't see the whole thing yet. Obviously, you can't see, like, the side stripes and all the little details, but... Derby City, man, of course, it's Kentucky. Like, you know what, I think that that's a, that I, I really do like this uniform, and I'm proud of the way it turned out. Anyway, enough of the uniforms. Let's jump into this game, boys. Let's do it. KFC Young Center in Louisville. As you guys can see, I did change it to 12-minute quarters. Uh, I figure it's already going to be a low-scoring game because we, you know, I'm rusty. I am so rusty, it's not even funny right now, to be honest. And uh, so, yeah, it's going to already be a low-scoring game. Keep it going. Get it to Gafford. He's open. Is that there? Let's go. Let's go. Hardy, man. I don't even have these guys' timing down yet, but we hit that one. Our first points as a franchise come from Jaden Hardy outside. Let's get it. He is shifty. Cunningham is shifty, but that's good defense and a very good rebound by Jalen Johnson. All right. All right. Palms are sweating a little bit, but I'm telling you, man, uh, it's not so bad so far. Get him in there. In there. Let's go. Beautiful feed to Gafford. He was right under the rim. I couldn't I couldn't resist. Somebody want to run a play? Anything going to happen here? Neesmith. Get a screen. Can somebody come for a screen, please? Mid-range. In the follow. Let's go, Gafford. Four points already with the tip in. And that one's good. Okay. Slightly early still, but... It's Neesmith. I mean, he's a shooter. What do you expect? Come on. He should be making these no matter what, and they call a timeout. Let's go. Cade Cunningham is so shifty. Oh, get the ball. Got the steal. Let's go. Oh, my God. I don't know what I was just trying to do there. I actually thought that was Jalen Johnson, not Aaron Neesmith. But, oh, okay. And the mid-range, and he's going to sink that all day. I have no timing. I have not practiced with this team. Get it to Gafford. He's inside against Cade Cunningham and he can't do anything. Bro, it's it's so hard against Hall of Okay. What is going on? And now, of course, it resets. Neesmith from outside. Oh, my God. What a shot. Aaron Neesmith. Uh, bro, what a legend. I need to get my defense down, man. I don't... I One thing I do not want to do is play off ball. But, man, it is hard to like get this get this stuff down defensively because these dudes are shifty like they are so shifty didn't work there get in there get in there Neesmith with the with the layup let's go no 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 okay that's Bagley back to Bagley oh I, I gave him too much room I gave him way too much room Gonna call a timeout. Sam Cassell wants a timeout. Oh, oh my God, bro! We just got torched by Monty Morris and James Wiseman. My God. Okay, the reverse slam by Mr. James Wiseman out of Memphis. Okay, I see you, big guy. All right, let's go. Get it to him. Gafford again, bro. Oh my God. From Jaden Hardy that time. Hardy party. With the assist, man. Drive, get it back out to Gafford. Can he drive on Duran? Probably not. But is that a violent? What is that? And I greened it too, and it was an offensive of three seconds on Hardy. Come on, bro. I greened it without even. I, should I be turning the meter off? I need you guys to tell me. Should I be turning the meter off? And Isaiah Stewart, are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? Cunningham's got three assists now in this one. Hardy's wide open. Oh my god, bro. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also. Get it up to him. 
Oh, what a dunk. What a slam from Jaden Hardy. Let's go, baby. You missed the three, but you made up for it. Tie the game at 22. Like I said, I knew it was going to be a low-scoring game. Kate Cunningham has got me looking silly right now. Monty Morris is going to pull up from mid-range, and it is going to end the first quarter. Tied up at 22, boys. This has been an ugly game so far, but bear with me. Like I said, I am so rusty. And uh, they're sitting here, like, talking about records up on the thing here. It, it, come on now. Cade back in the game. Then legal screen, first foul on Peyton. Are you kidding me? An off ball foul. 2K, please stop talking about the franchise records. We're an expansion team. Don't care who's texting me right now. I really don't. Set the screen, Tory Craig. Josh Christopher, go all the way. Go all the way to the basket, young man. Let's go. The athletic Josh Christopher. Surprised he made that, man. I cannot make a layup to save my life in this game this year. <clears throat> oh. Played that screen perfectly. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Get the ball. Get the ball, please. And he made that. He, he made that. Iso, really, really, what are you like? Get there. Oh, Josh Christopher again. Let's get it, baby. Oh my goodness. I was getting on him for the Iso. I mean, he didn't really Iso. We did get a, we did get a screen there. Man, Spencer Dinwiddie has done literally nothing, nothing at all. But it's okay. He will. He will. He just hasn't yet. Why are we not running plays? I want plays to be ran. Get it, Tory Craig. Oh my goodness, Isaiah Stewart was there. Makes sense. That makes sense. I understand why. And he's gonna get us on the other end. JC bring the ball. Why are we isoing again? On Kate Cunningham? Is he like that bad of a defender? Or like what's the deal? I'm not a good dribbler though, that's the problem. There we go. Now we got Dinwiddie involved. That's what we needed to do right there. You know, it's different when you're playing, like, in the city or in the park. You only got one player that you got to worry about their release. Uh, here, man, I got to worry about ten dudes. Dayron Sharp, you can't shoot, bro. Send me another screen. See what we can do. Oh, my God! I thought that was going to get stolen with the jam from the young man, Dayron Sharp. That, uh, I don't want to say replaced Jalen Duran, but I mean, he was the guy that we picked up, uh, as a big man. And, okay. Kate Cunningham just shut me right up. Monty Morris, a former Badger himself. Bro, put your hands up and steal the ball, Tory Craig! We should have plenty of time to at least attempt to go two for one here, right? He's got 12. Pocket six. Get him again. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Daniel Gaffer with 14 points, 5 rebounds in the first half. We are going to have time left on the clock, inevitably, even if they score, which they do. So what are we going to run here? Hardy, that's wide open, baby. Let's go. Let's go. 10 points for Hardy. That's what I'm talking about. D don't let him shoot that. Thank God he missed it. 50 to 46 at halftime. We are only down by four. Uh, it could be a lot worse. It really, really, really could be a lot worse, boys. But as ugly as that was of a first half, uh, you know what, man? I'm, I'm proud of the team so far, at least. So there are your halftime stats, or at least your halftime leaders. Uh, Cade's got 12 points, 6 assists. Daniel Gafford, 14 points, 5 rebounds, and an assist. Bogdanovich, man, this guy gives me nightmares because he is a lights-out shooter. Him and Joe Harris both. Oh, my God, he just absolutely... He just is cooking me. 
every chance he gets. Hardy is on Bogdanovich. I don't like this. Because that means there's a mismatch somewhere, and here it is. Yeah, that's easy money. That is easy money. We're down by seven. Roll the basket. Big man. There it is. There it is. All day long. All day long. Cade Cunningham wasn't very close to you that time. Daniel Gaffer with 16 points. Everybody on their team seems to be like, like on fire right now. Why are we ISOing? I don't want to do this anymore. Like, come on now. Okay, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe I do. Spencer Dinwiddie, let's get it. Seven points. All right, we need to get Gafford out of the game. He is gassed right now, and we need to get somebody in for him before he just starts getting just destroyed by Wiseman. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're moving the ball, and it was good enough to get Bogdanovich a wide-open three. Let's call a timeout, and we're going to be the coach this time because uh, – I got to get Gafford out of the game if they're not already doing it. We see our boy Grady Dick check in for the first time. What do we got? Jalen Johnson. Can Dinwiddie get to the rim again? He can, but he's not going to finish, which has been a pretty big problem so far. Very big problem. And, oh, my God, despite the good defense, nothing we could do. Jaden Ivey, he's just that dude. He is something else, man. He really is something else. Set that screen. Grady Dick all the way to the rim with the slam. Let's go. Grady Dick, his first points as a Louisville Badger. Come in the paint all the way for the stuff. Let's get it. Nice pick and roll there. Monty Morris, what are you thinking right now? What are you going to do? What are y'all going to do? Come on. You got, ah, that got wide open. Wide open. There's no way that they're missing that. And they got an 11-point lead. An 11-point lead. Sam Cassell trying to talk it over with the coaching staff. Like, what is going wrong, guys? All right. Here we go. Got it again. Inside to Gafford. Let's go, baby. The assist from Grady that time. Gafford got 18 points. He just came back in the game. Let something develop here. Neesmith, please, baby. Oh, come on. I need something here from you, Aaron. You were good earlier in the game. Give me something right over top of Jalen Johnson. You got to be kidding me, bro. Up by 14. They are starting to pull away a little bit. Just a little bit. Come on, Grady. Give me something, baby. That's a green release for Grady Dick for three. That's what he can do for our team. Come on, come on, come on. Stay with him. Do not let that happen. Okay, Marvin Bagley. Are you... Oh, I was about to say. Do not leave him wide open like that. I need something. I need a screen. I need something. Get to the basket. Young man with the stuff. Let's go, Jaden Hardy. Jaden Hardy, boys. My God. Right around Marvin Bagley. Let's go. 17 points, 10 assists for our young guard. Play some defense now. Great. Get there. Ready, Dick. Take it all the way, baby. Take it all the way with the slam. Let's go. Let's go. Closing the corner out the right way. <laughs> I'm loving this right now. Don't let him do it. I'm hitting the turbo. I'm hitting the turbo because Ivy is way more athletic. I'm on it. What a block. What a block if we can get to the ball. Oh, I, okay. Nee Smith would have been able to take a shot if he could have got to the ball. And, uh, man, he would have had the, the best chance too. But, man, only down by seven going into the fourth. I got to consider that a W right now, man. I really do. I think that might have been our best quarter so far in this game. And I'm, I'm proud of our boys, man. I'm proud of our young guys especially. Grady Dick coming in, making a difference already. Got to respond. Come on. 
Somebody give me something. Josh Christopher, all the way to the hoop. Let's go. Let's go, young man. Let's get it. With the jam in slow motion. Josh Christopher putting us back within seven points. What are we doing here? We're going in with Josh Christopher. Get there, baby. Let's go. So athletic. I was going to kick it out, but I, I think that was, who was that out there? I think it was Tory Craig or Gary Payton or something. And I just didn't trust it. I didn't trust it. James Wiseman, and we foul him. Thank God it wasn't an and one, but. Can you shoot? You can shoot, baby. Let's go. Josh Christopher is on fire with the three that time. I don't think that was a green release, but man, I didn't think you could even make a three-pointer without it being a green release, to be honest. Be oh my God, I can't stop Cade Cunningham. I just simply can't. I simply can't do it. Set that screen. Get all the way there. Oh, what the putback by Gary Payton. Oh my God, I hit it at the last second. I hit X at the very last second just because I saw him coming in. Oh, makes it a seven-point game. What a putback by Gary Payton a second. Josh Christopher has been lights out so far right now. Get it to Gafford. Gafford is there for the slam. Let's go We're within five points. 22-9 and nine for Gafford. And he is gassed, though. We have got to get him out of the game. We have got to get him out of this game. Cunningham from outside. He's going to hit that. All right, we got to take a timeout. We got to take a timeout here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Low percentage shot. Get ahead of him. Get ahead of him. Neesmith with the green release in his face. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we needed right there, man. That was the motivator. Come on, we're down by five, boys. Let's get it. That's why we want the ball in his hands. It's exactly why. All right, he got us up. Buddy. Oh, he made that. He actually made that. Okay. Daron Sharp with a beautiful. Oh, my God. Very, very, very nice little uh, floater up over the top. No, that was not what was supposed to happen. Nee Smith was wide open there. Oh my God, he was wide open. Get to the rim. Oh, what a, oh my God, what a scoop by Dinwiddie, the veteran. The first half was very slow for him, but now he's got us within three points of the Detroit Pistons. Final two minutes, man. Three point game. Bagley and Dinwiddie is down there. Oh! No, 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 no. Oh. They had the mismatch timeout. They had the mismatch. Five point game. Still not too bad. It's not too bad yet. No matter how this turns out, I am proud of our boys for how we have played here in the second half. He's open. He is wide open for the three. Hardy. Oh my God, bro. With the green release, brings us within two points. Come on, Badgers. Come on, Badgers. Keep Cade in front of you. Keep him in front of you. Keep him in front of you. Wiseman is there. He's going to miss, and we have a chance to tie or take the lead here. Ooh, I should have probably thrown it up to Hardy, but that I don't I don't want to get too crazy with it. Can he do it? No, 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 no. Slow this down a little bit. Slow it down. All right, let's get a better shot. Oh, no, I wanted to go. He's open for the mid-range, and he misses it. Oh, Neesmith. Bro, you got to make that. You have to make that. That's a tie ball game if you make it. And now, okay. No, 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 no. Please. Ooh, okay. We kept the good defense on. Less than a minute to play. It is coming down to the wire, boys. Down to the wire. Let's get a screen. Let's get a screen from Johnson. Go to him. Oh, we got the foul. We drew the foul. We have a chance to tie it up here. 17 rebounds for Jalen Johnson. Are you, is that a joke? 
But here is where it's important. We made the first. Second one. Got it. Tie game. They call a timeout. 41.9 seconds on the clock, and we have tied this game up. All right, I think he left everybody in for now, and I think that's the right that's the right call. Bogdanovich. No. We got the ball. We have the ball with a chance to take the lead here. Over to Dinwiddie. All right. Give me a screen. Get me a screen. Get it to Gafford. Inside with the dunk. Let's go. We take the lead. We take the lead with 14.6 seconds. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. The second half of this game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Man. Uh, Monty Williams don't look happy right now. All right. Are they going to try a three? Please don't do that to me. And here's He's cold. Over We're on him when we get the block. Let's go. He fouls. 1.1 second left. Oh, boys. Are you kidding me? I was, I was not expecting to win this game. We green the first one. Let's go. We make this one. It's game over. And we miss it. But it doesn't matter. He's just going to chuck it up. Our first game is a franchise, boys. We win it 102 to 99 against the Detroit Pistons. And I even said that this was a winnable game. Did I expect to win it? Not in a million years, especially when we were down by, what was it, like seven or nine points? Like late in the fourth quarter there. Our boys pulled it out. Taking a look at the box score. Daniel Gafford, 25 and 12. A double-double in his first game as a Badger. Jaden Hardy, the same, 20 points, 11 assists. We actually did not shoot bad at all from three, to be honest with you. Josh Christopher was one of two. He had 12 points off the bench. Dinwiddie was one of two. Neesmith, two of five, three of 10 total. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm still getting these guys' shots down, you know, like like the timing and all that. But uh, Grady Dick came in the game, 9 points in 12 minutes. He had 4 assists, even, and he had a 3-pointer. Jalen Johnson with 17 rebounds, bro. 17 rebounds. I'm sorry, I'm just hype right now. Torrey Craig, 5 points. Dayron Sharp with 4. Gary Payton with 2. On the other side, Cade, man, 33 points. He had 6 assists. Bagley with 17 and 12. He had the double-double. Ivy with 14 points. I, I feel like most of those points came in the first half because he was just torching us in the first half. And then he just went ghost in the second half all the way. Wiseman, he had 14 boards, but only four points, man. It's not going to get it done. Duran, we gave him back. That did not come back to haunt us, boys. It didn't come back to haunt us at all. We got better as the game went, and I think that that is more a product of me. I'm getting used to the team. Are we going to win a lot of games? Then not a chance. But, I mean, to be honest with you, the Pistons was a winnable game, like I said. And, and, and they were doing a good job uh, of keeping us at bay until we got to that fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, we just took over from there, boys. When we come back in episode three... Uh, you guys are going to see some of your hashtag ad players. We're going to go over some more of the prospects and all that. We're also going to simulate a good deal through the season. And uh, we're going to play another game. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to play a game in either December or January. If, the, Like I said, if there's anything on the schedule here that you guys want to see, any teams you guys want to see us play, please let me know in the comments. And uh, we will definitely do that. But that is it for this episode. I'm sure you guys can kind of tell but my throat literally feels like there's cement in it right now uh but when we come back man it's i i hope that the next episode is just as good thank you guys so much for showing up man i love all of you guys more than anything in the world and i will catch you guys in the next one